You had to show zero and eight tenths, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So we have eight tenths shaded in here. But then we needed to figure out how do we make it look like a number line. All right. How many rows of tenths do I have? Eight. Eight of them. Okay. So watch something real cool. I'm going to take this same decimal grid that's showing that eight tenths represented. And I'm going to do something kind of interesting. When you think you understand what's going on, just give me a thumbs up. Anybody notice what I'm doing right now? Yes. What am I doing? You're cutting out ten, ten tenths. I'm cutting out all of the tenths, right? Yeah, yeah. And so this hundreds grid has how many tenths? You, you said ten, right? And you could put them back together. I could put them back together, just like the way they looked, right? Mm -hmm. But we're also sh talking mm -hmm. about representing decimals on a number line. Number line, okay? So there is an end to this story right here. Right now I'm just cutting up this hundredths grid, right? Mm -hmm. Is this confusing y'all at all? Nope. Okay. Kind of. That's okay. Just kind of watch what I'm doing. All right? So, I'm gonna move this here. So watch here. Now what am I doing? I cut out, I have all of the tenths individually cut out. Does everybody see that? Now what am I doing? Lining them up. I'm lining them up. Instead of me putting them back together as a grid, I'm lining them up in a number line. Number line. line. You said a number line? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why. You don't know why? You can make that a number line. Oh, I could, couldn't I? Interesting. Yeah. Do you notice I'm putting all of the ones that have been shaded first? Yeah. All together? You see I, this, Linnea? Uh-huh. Hmm. Looky here. A number line. Now it looks kind of like a number. a number line. Check this out. So we already said that 8 tenths, was it greater than one whole or less than one whole? Less. Greater. Oh, Why is it less than one whole? How do you know 8 tenths was less than one whole? Look at your grid. Because it is not filled up. What's not filled up? Uh, the hundreds. Your hundreds grid isn't, right? So we start at what number? Zero. Zero. And what's the other number? One. One. So take a look. Mm -hmm. One tenth. Two tenths. Three tenths. Four tenths. Aha. Uh -huh. Five tenths. Six tenths. Seven tenths. Eight tenths. Y'all are ahead tenths, of me. Eight, right? Ten tenths. Wait, that's And then that would be your whole, tenths. right? Yeah. So take a look. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight have been shaded out of the Nine. one hole, right? The... So look at the grid that we have up there. Now, all of this has been shaded, but it's like we've gone up to the eight tenths. It's the same thing, but with uh, tenths. Yeah, but we just used our grid. We broke it apart and That's made cool. a number line. That's cool. Okay? So think about it. It's the same Thing. Is that why you give us the grid charts? Not really, because you can either show the eight tenths on the hundredths grid or the tenths grid. Okay? I just want you to take a look at this.